Hello everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we finished up some side quests including powering up our partners even more, making them even more amazing and powerful, as well as got a new party member in Miss Mouse, who is probably one of the more fun characters uh, in the game. She says there's an item here. Oh well, I'm not worried. Anyway, we have to go see Don Pianta to try and get a train ticket to get to, uh, gl uh, whatever the place on the train is. I completely forget right now. Things are going great right now, and I'm really glad to be back recording this. It's been a while for me. Francesca. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for yous? What? Tickets for that ritziest train around? The XS Express? Whoa! You want tickets for that rolling wingding? Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca, I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew what those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. You mean Francesca and Frankie? Didn't we see them on Keel Hall Key, Mario? Who's on the what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie? Oh god, I changed the accent. I guess from mobster to something else. I swear if you were lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We do ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get you your train tickets. We got a deal or what? Deal. Or no deal. <laughs> now that's better. I knew, you, I knew once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. And we have to go all the way back to Keel Hall Key, which I'll just me. Uh, actually, that lets me go to the harbor, and that lets me get something I missed, which is really good. Cause I'm kicking myself for missing it. And we're at the harbor, so the thing I missed was right by Luigi, and I walked right off. Oh wow, that's smooth, Mario, smooth. So we go boat. If we turn into a boat here. Go around Cortez's cursed pirate ship that he's letting us borrow. And all the way over here, we can get some stuff. Star piece there. I think that's all. Aside from this HP drain. That actually badge might be good for low HP runs. Because... Uh, well, I would, I would check it, but I can't open... Oh, I can't open the menu. I never thought I could in the... You know. Okay, so yeah, every time you attack, you gain one HP. That's for trading one damage point. That's actually pretty good. Anyway, we'll just get off... We'll unboat and go to Cortez's boat. Boat. Boat pun. Boat pun. And here we are on Keel Hall Key. Which is, it's, an, it's a fast transition. We'll get a faster mo method of travel after Chapter 6. But it's pretty fair. It's not obnoxious and it doesn't take too long. And these guys still haven't cleaned up. Anyway, we're just looking for two Piantas. I don't like the Piantas. They're jerks. Oh, hey, it's Mario. How you been there, pal? Did we do something for you? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. In a time like this. You see, I, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. I must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen to what I say, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're going to have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, 
I don't know, babe. I love you, my little short stack. No, please, let's go. No, I say it 99 more times, Frankie. Ah, uh, fine, you crazy dame. I'm not saying all this. I'm mashing through it as fast as I can. Mash! Mash! Now, little cream up, let's find that wedding ring right away. What do you say? Yeah, uh, it's at the Skull Rock. They give you a hint. It's actually pretty easy to miss. But it's literally... Oh, damn it! Oh, yeah, I've, I've been to be talking. Uh, pretty much it's head to the Skull Rock. It's... It's only a few screens, so it won't give you too much trouble. Here's the wedding ring. Now we have to go all the way back and deal with those piantas. I don't like piantas. They're kind of dicks. Congratulations, I got your fucking wedding ring. It's a fucking ring. Now the whole plot point about them staying here? Completely pointless. Completely pointless. Because they're just gonna go back to Rogueport and stay there. I don't like the Piantas. They're dicks. I guess I could beat up Whack. Oh, god damn it! Oh dear, I'm I'm still in a good mood, but oh, this game. Uh, <laughs> the in-betweens of chapters 6 and 7 tend to make me a little annoyed. Uh, back in the Mafia's p uh, item store. Fun fact, this was supposed to be a Playboy boo. <laughs> she was supposed to have Playboy bunny ears along with the cufflinks. Instead, they changed it to cat ears so it's cute. Oh well. We're back in the mobster's office! Daddy, 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 wake up, open your eyes, boss! Mm, Francesca? Oh hey, he's better! He just missed his daughter. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. No, you didn't! Oh, he's retiring. Oh. Yeah, Frankie's the new boss. This goes nowhere after this. Oh. If they were to do a remake of this game, I would want more with the Pian Pianta Syndicate. Uh. Oh, that boss. Well, I'm trying to promise him something. We don't need to trade for the XS Express. Oh, oh, yeah, is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten. Help yourself. Hey, we got a train ticket. You, whoa. Yeah. Well, let's see. We saved the mobster's life. Uh, I don't care about these guys. Francesca. Or Miss Boss. I don't care. Oh, gosh. He's... I, I get what they were going for. They wanted to make it so the city felt scummy and alive, but I don't care about the Piantas. They're jerks. I want to see what's Roper's West Side. Pika. Peekaboo happen. And now we can go to Poshley Heights. That was the name of the place. <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. See, they don't really play up much of this. Of so the six drizzle stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Hey, Beldum. Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor, Vivian. But something tells me the trying to alone might be unwise, so you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> yeah, to Rogueport Station. Because we're going to start off Chapter 6. 
possibly one of the shortest chapters in the game, but it's fun. It plays up some goofy antics, and it's meant to be... It's meant to be a more relaxing chapter after, uh, just sort of to build up the theme. You're going on a ritzy train. Not much in terms of combat can happen, so this is actually going to be a fairly combat light chapter. All the ward! I like the train design. Yeah, yeah, train. As a little kid, I loved trains. It was like, I saw a train, I saw a Thomas the Tank Engine thing. I would immediately beg my parents to buy it for me. I was a spoiled little shit. Chapter 6. Three Days of Excess. And we'll continue this next time! So I'll see you then!